Hey guys, finally sleeps here. Today, EA released the newest event in FIFA Mobile, UCL Round of 16. It's a great event. There's a lot of elements from old events. We've got some versus matches where you have matchups. It's kind of like what we had in Boxing Day. There's some elements from Freeze. We have the Wheel of Players like we just had in Lunar New Year. There's a lot going on. It is a very involved event with multiple types of event currency and resources. There's some strategy going to be involved, and we really want to know what is possible for you to play because there are three event icons up for grabs, uh, including players from 100 down, 98, 97, 96, 99. There's a lot of stuff going on with it. Uh, but first, make sure you turn on notifications, subscribe, like, comment, share, all that good stuff here at YouTube. Check out uh, Twitch streams, they're 30 minutes before reset most days of the week, um, as well as FinallySleeps.com for all things FIFA Mobile. Uh, we'll give a few shout-outs here. Newest team members, Blake, Darwin, Jamie, and Austin. You know what? While we're at it, continue the shout-out parade with a few of my biggest team members at the website. Christoph Harsh, Senna, Darren, Glenn, Politico, Snout71, VKFC, John Callahan, Islamic Gems, Cole, Kevin Todd, Sir Sheridindu, and the baby Will himself, John, better known as Butt Munch. Yeah. All right, that out of the way, let's get into it. Uh, let's take a look at the event. It's actually a huge event. Um, it is a 14-day event with weekly resets on coin packs and SBCs. It's divided into two main daily arenas. Uh, first up, you have Versus. And then you also have these star skill games. There are multiple event currency in this thing, uh, including UCL points, UCL trade-in tokens, UCL tickets. It's just, it's, it can get confusing. Uh, there's also a daily claim of 100 trade-in tokens and 25 UCL tokens that pop up as soon as you log in at reset. Now, in the round of 16 tab, there are four daily versus matches where you can choose up to eight different teams to play as. You play those versus matches for kits and UCL trade-in tokens. Uh, these trade-in tokens are, are going to come into play here in a minute. It's the first type of event currency. Now, once you win at least four matches, you get a daily reward of UCL trade-ins. This is a dependent upon how many teams you've won um, before that. If you look at here, the rewards go up based on how many teams you've already beaten. So don't claim this each day until you've won with as many teams as possible. If you have a choice and it's a team you haven't already beaten, then go for that. You have the list of players right here, and it checks off when you've beaten a thing. Hint, day one... You want at least four to grab it, you can have up to eight. So you're not going to claim this until you've maxed out how many teams you can do. It's up to you how many you go for, but you can grab all eight on day one if you're that good at versus. But we'll come back to all that in a minute. Once you've won with all eight teams, or all 16 teams overall, you'll end up with a 90 rated right mid. That's only after you've claimed all 16 teams, and these teams will repeat. It's a 14-day event. You're getting eight teams per day, so it's not going to take that long to get it. Now, those UCL trade-in tokens you use in the reward path, the second tab here. Here's where you trade them in on resources and players. Every time you trade them in, you also earn UCL points. So, like, uh, you grab 15 skill boost, you trade in 50 trade-in points, you get 50 UCL points as well. The second kind of event currency, this is the UCL points. This is number two of the event currencies we have to deal with. Uh, this turns into UCL players if you scroll down farther onto the path. So as you trade that stuff in, this is where it comes out of. Now, as you move forward, there's those two. Uh, there's a couple of milestones uh, here as well. Uh, that's where they at. 97 rated. There it is. 97 rated center back and a 102 right wing best that's sure to require signing over your firstborn male son to the gods of EA. I don't know. We'll, we'll take a look at that here in a minute. The next tab is the daily star gem games. It's yet another type of currency uh, you have to deal with. The star ticket. 
Now, there's a lot going on here with the star ticket, and this is important. These do not carry over. They don't carry over. So you're going to use all of them before the day is up. It's, it's a big tip. Use them all before the day is up. There are three paths to choose from. Now you can see I've already chosen the easy path for today. As you can see, it's like right there above my head. It says easy right there. That's the only thing that's available on day one. Um, if you get a total of 15 stars on the easy round, the medium unlocks on day two. Then 15 stars on medium on day two unlocks hard on day three. Each level gives out a different amount of daily tickets. And remember, they do not carry over. So here's how it works. On day one, Easy's going to give you 20 tickets to complete the five nodes uh, with three stars each. That's what you want. You want three stars in each of these four nodes or skill games, and then the last one is the match. You want the three stars there. If medium only gives you 15 tickets to do it, and everything's a little bit more difficult. Hard only gives you 10 tickets to play the five matches, and it's even more difficult. The rewards grow with each level as well. Um, 10 to 50 UCL points uh, are possible on the easy level, 20 to 75 for mid-level, and 25 to 100 for hard level. We'll come back to strategy on this later in the video, though. Okay, so the last tab is the UCL player box. This is where you trade in your, your UCL tokens for spins on the wheel of players. We've seen this before. This is the same thing, everything. And once you claim a player... It will get replaced with resources like boost and coins, as you can see, because I've already claimed three players and spun the wheel four times. Uh, it does look like the players reset at the end of the first week, too, because you can see there where uh, UCL player, UCL, or UEFA Champions League players expires in seven days. So at the end of seven days, I'm assuming this is going to all reset and you'll get new ones. Uh, don't forget, you're guaranteed a player on every ninth spin of the wheel. Now, there are milestones here, too, by the way. Shards and a prime icon. King Kenny. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. 30 spins of the wheel get you everything, including the epic shards there at the end. Now, there are a lot of shards here. So, that's the entire event broken down that's it it's the ucl versus we got skill games and the spinning wheel it's all broke down but you really want to know is what you can do with it uh let's run the numbers to see what's possible and then we're going to talk about some strategy um uh, let's see i've already run the numbers though so Bear along with me. You can read along with the tab, and uh, we'll look and make sure all this works. Uh, if we go back to that first tab, the round of 16, where all the versus matches are, uh, the is event energy-based. Um, you start out with 18 energy. There's 14 days, minus one for the last hour you can't, re you can't complete because it takes an hour to regenerate that last one, and when the last hour regenerates your one... You know, bit of energy, it's the event has ended. So you can't use that last one, so we gotta subtract it. You have three daily ads, each worth four piece, and seven weekly icon or weekly coin packs worth eight eight of peach. Eight of peach, eight each. This is the first one tonight, seriously. Um, that's a grand total of six hundred and thirty-three UCL energy. Each versus match takes four energy to play, so you can play for a win or a loss. Um, on a grand total of 158 matches over the course of the event. I said win or loss because draws give back half your energy. You get two energy back with a draw, so there's going to be some interesting math to figure in here. If you break it down and say you play 11 matches per day, and you win four of those matches, you lose the other seven, you'll be earning 50 UCL trade-ins for the first six wins and 10 each for those losses. It's a grand total of 270 UCL trade-in tokens per day, basically. Conservative take on it. That would get you the daily reward with 30 trade-ins on the first day, 30 to 100 on day two, 30 to 150 on day three, and 30 to 250 for each day after, depending upon which 16 teams you beat each day. See how this can vary? It's getting confusing. Uh, instead, let's just go worst-case scenario right out of the gate. 
compare it to best case scenario to give you an idea. Uh, you're going to have 158 matches without any draws. So if you lose every single match over the course of the entire 14 days, you lose every versus match. Uh, you never get a daily bonus. That's 1,580 trade-in tokens. If you are the worst player possible and you never get a break. Now, the best case, you're going to play 158 matches and you win every single one earning your max of 430 trade-ins per day and max daily bonus throughout the course of the event, having all eight teams beat on day one before you claim your daily reward. Note, I said you waited to claim your day one daily reward until you had all eight teams beat. Hint, hint, if you're going to do that, you can gain 100 bonus on day one. You just have to beat all eight. Don't grab it as soon as you get four wins. you got to wait till the end of the day, collect bonus at the very end of the day. And probably 250 daily bonus by day three. That's somewhere in the ballpark of around 10,000 UCL trade-in tokens. Now that's a huge difference. 1580 to 10,000 on the two ends of the spectrum. Huge difference. Now let's map it out for someone who's pretty damn good at versus and luck on their side with like a one to two ratio of wins to losses. So in other words, uh, you win one out of every three matches you play. Day one, you go all in and you use 96 energy by way of coin packs and ads to get all eight wins and 16 losses. Uh, that gives you the max daily bonus and a grand total of 660 UCL trade-in tokens. Day two, you'll have 50 energy, so another 12 matches, four wins and eight losses, keeping the streak up for a daily total of 430 UCL trade-in tokens. Day three through day seven, you only have 36 energy to nine. So nine matches at four apiece. Three wins, nine losses, because, again, this is there's no draws here. No daily bonuses, though, because if you're going to stick with this, you're only getting three wins per day because you don't have enough energy to go any farther than that. That's 210 trade-in tokens. Double that for week two. But you have to add in the max bonus on day eight and nine because you've already got all those teams beaten, blah, blah, blah. It's a grand total of 4,530 UCL trade-in tokens. So it's kind of like right in the middle between 1,500 and 10,000. But I mean, that's that's no draws. It's it's kind of I mean, that's it's kind of an arbitrary set. So let's let's just let's just see what we can do. If you have a worst ratio of wins to losses, we'll throw in some draws and see if we can earn even a little bit more points. So let's go one, one, and two. So you win one, you draw one, and you lose two for every four matches you play. Now, to get our four wins per day for the bonus, we're going to need to play about 16 matches, but you're going to get back eight energy for the four draws. So day one, 56 energy expended. Uh, you get 350 trade-in tokens. So you're going to have to use a little bit of your cash, like the coin packs, to get you there. Day two, another 56 energy gets you 420 trade-in tokens. Day three, 56 energy, 470 trade-in tokens. Now, on day four, you're, you've already wiped all your coin packs. Uh, you only have 50 energy left, so you know. let's just stay positive and say you play 14 matches and you get four wins, three draws, and seven losses. That's 550 trade-in tokens. Day five through seven, you only got 36 energy because all your coin packs are gone. Um, let's guess that at two wins, three draws, and five losses for 180 trade-in tokens apiece. Repeat that for week two, but you got to add in the 470 bonus from days eight through 11 because you've already got all the teams done. That's a grand total of 5,130 UCL trade-in tokens. So let's just say, let's just say you're going to earn somewhere in the realm of 4,000 trade-in tokens. Plus 1,400 from the daily claim rewards just to give us something to work with. Okay, I told you this thing was confusing and it's all over the board because of these matches. These matches are where all the problem is. This is what's got people so confused of what's possible and what we can do. Uh, so let's just say 4,000. We'll go conservative and say you end up with 4,000 points from playing all these versus matches. What can you do with that 4,000 UCL trade-in tokens plus the 1,400 from the bonus? You're going to trade them in on resources and players 
at the beginning of the reward path. Depending upon on what you choose, you can get one to one for UCL points with your trades for the resources or two to one for UCL points for UCL tokens and UCL players. Now these are, there's a max level on a lot of these things. So like the UCL tokens, you can only do five times. The UCL players, you can only do three. But see here is what I'm talking about. It's a two to one ratio for here. So it requires 1,250 UCL trade-in tokens, but you only get back half of that in UCL points. So there's 625 UCL points for 1,250 spent, 250 UCL points for 500 spent, but once you move down, it's it's one for one, 500 for 500, 50 for 50, 50 for 50, 25 for 25. You see how that's going. Those UCL points that you're earning here, these UCL points turn into event players over here. Now, if we go back to the 4,000 and 1,400 for the daily claims, it's 5,400. With 5,400, you can trade one to one and end up with a 96 rated player free to play. A 99 rated player is going to require 4,600 trade-in tokens from versus matches instead of the 4,000. So you need to get to that 6,000 uh, 6, point with the 1,400 daily, you need 5,600, no, 4,600 trade-in tokens from the versus matches. So you're going to have to do a little better than that one to two, one to one to two ratio that we just talked about. You need to get that into where you're claiming the bonuses more than just the first three, four days of the week. The 99 and 100 rated players are out of range for most, unless you're spending gems and are a phenomenal versus attack player. That also means that the 97 center back and best milestones are also way out of range. Now, let's say you beat the system, okay? And you did earn 10,000 trade-in tokens because you won every single one of your 158 versus match. Then you swap them one for one. That means to get best, you'll be dropping at least 175,000 gems. Now, remember that player box tab where you can spin the wheel for resources and players? Uh, let's take a look at this. The, that's where you're going to need... All those UCL tokens, these things, remember? Okay, so let's let's look at the Star Games tab first so that we can come back to it. Uh, on day one, you're going to run through the five easy matches. Everybody's going to do it. It's not that hard. You get 50 UCL to tokens. Then after you run through those, do not forget to go back and use all of your energy. So I still have 15. I need to go back through and replay some of these for the rewards we got coins and XP. That's going to be the most important thing. Coins and XP. 500 coins. Was it 500? So I'll just replay this match 15 times for 15,000. Now, if there's another day where it's giving out, uh, if any of these things are giving out boost, it would definitely use it there. Because if I leave day one with those 15 in here and I didn't use them, when day two starts, I'm not going to keep those 15. It's just going to replace them with what you get for whichever you choose between easy and medium or day three, easy, medium, and hard. So on day one, you run through the five easy matches for 50 UCL tokens. On day two, you'll have the option to go medium for 75 UCL tokens. It's pretty doable for most people. On day three on, you'll have the option to go for hard for 100 UCL tokens if you're pretty fabulous uh, because you'll only have 10 tries out of the five matches to earn it. Now, here's my advice. Unlock hard and just play hard. Don't worry about it. If you do not get all 15 stars on hard, 10 stars on hard. So if you two star all five, you still end up with uh, 75 points which is the same thing. So uh, it, you got to open up that lot. You got to open up the match and compete the match for three stars at the end, no matter what, because you can't get less stars on that. But two starring the stars, if on a hard level, shouldn't be that hard. And then you just have to get the match to get your 75 tokens per day. Okay. Now that we understand the UCL tokens, uh, if you get 25 per day in 
the daily claims. That's 350 total. Uh, 50 for day one, 75 for day two, and 100 per day three through 14 for playing those hard skill games. That's 1,325 total. You trade in for 500 in the reward path because remember you can do that five times. You trade those in. That's a grand total of 2,175 spins on the wheel. 21 spins on the wheel. If you want King Kenny, I want King Kenny. If you want King Kenny, that puts him in range for 7,500 gems. 7,500 gems for 97 rated event icon Kenny Daglish. Definitely doable. Am I calling him free to play? Yes, I'm calling him free to play. Because 7,500 gems, EA gives you enough gems over the course of the season that you should have 7,500 gems to be able to complete this for him uh, with the daily quests and everything. Now, here's my advice on the event. There's there's a lot going on, so let's, let's talk about my best advice for the event. Number one, stay laser focused on the daily versus matches and stop when you get four wins each day for as long as you can to hold energy and maximize your rewards. Now there's a balancing act to keep enough energy in your pot to earn the daily reward as often as you can versus getting all 16 teams beaten as early as possible. So on day one, let's say you expend all of your energy between your coin packs and your ads and everything to get all eight teams beaten, but you blew your wad on day one, you're gonna miss out on the daily bonuses because you're not gonna have enough energy to get all four teams beat on day four, five, and six, seven, if, if you're not doing really, really well. And a lot of people struggle with these matches, um, even one-to-one, -one, it's like if you win one and lose one, win one, lose one, you're doing better than, a mo than most people. It's, there's no advantages to this because both teams have, you know, you're using the same matchup. It's just about first goal, all of the, you know, keeping your momentum, uh, dumping turns when you need to dump turns. If you're struggling with versus, there's videos and there's techniques you can do to become a better versus player. That is really going to be important here. So my advice, get your four wins, make sure there are four teams you don't have, and move on. It will give you bigger dividends in the end. Now, number two, the best rewards in this event are in the UCL player box. All of the event players are available in the market and you're only missing out on 1,250 UCL points if you trade in uh, your UCL trade-in tokens for those five extra spins on that wheel. Now this wheel, this is where you can earn shards in the milestones path and boost, once you've collected players, boost gets replaced in half of them. Boost and shards are the most important resources in this game. Never, ever, ever forget that. Now, after day one, wait until day eight to use all of your UCL tokens on a fresh round of players. This is tip number three. This will maximize your chances at selling those players for better profit right after reset. Number four, after you've claimed the UCL tokens in the reward path, shift to boost. That's the next thing. You're gonna wanna shift to boost in the reward path. What I'm talking about is once you've claimed all five of these, go over here to the boost. This is gonna be next most important thing. Now, let's say you go back to that scenario where I said 4,000 uh, UCL, uh, what is it, trade-in tokens that you earn from versus plus the 1,400 dailies, it gives you 5,400. If we go back to that and you claim the 500 UCL tokens, that means there's enough left over one-to-one -one trade in ratio to give you another 870 boost forget the players don't mess with the elite players or the ucl players here there there's no real advantage to that forget those forget the coins forget the xp boost 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 and the ucl tokens now number five this is this is important don't forget the sbc's there are 40 common shards, 20 rare shards, and 20 epic shards available in the two shard SBCs. 
These reset, you can do them twice. They end at the end of the first week and you're gonna come back. Now, this one, you could play three times. If you haven't already done it, don't gamble it. It's too late right now to, to make anything. These had to be done literally right at reset. If you ever see something like this that is giving out event players uh, a possible, at the beginning of the event, these players have a huge value. Now they do not, do not mess with it. If you are just now watching this video and you have not yet done this UCL C SBC, do not waste your coins or the players on the SBC. They're, the odds of earning a player here that's gonna give you profit after eight hours since the event began is low at best, you're probably just pissing away your opportunity for a decent player or decent rewards. So only do that in the first hour of the event. Beyond that, forget it. And this goes for any event in FIFA Mobile. Any SBC that just gives you event players that are all auctionable in the market, their values are dead and gone almost as quickly as the event itself begins. All right, that's it. That's the entire UCL round of 16 broken down King Kenny is free to play with 7,500 gems. Don't forget to maximize your uh, options in the Boxing Day event. Um, that's pretty much it. Hope that helps. Thanks for hanging out with me tonight. Check out all the links. Don't forget the Discord servers. Discordapp.com slash invite slash FM is the big Reddit foot mobile Discord server uh, with the entire community. Discord.finallysleeps.com is Ruben and myself's Discord server, Foot Mobile Twitch. That's where you can talk to all the Twitch streamers. Uh, it's a great Discord server to get involved in. Check out all the links, and as long as you guys keep watching, I'll keep making videos.